everyone those who are spiritually guiding us like our parents or some priest or some spiritual leaders or layman or mentor they all tell us that you pray for your husband you pray for your wife you pray for your family they say but what to pray how to pray when to pray where to pray we are not able to understand many people always pray for the health always pray for money always pray for success but more than that what god want us to pray what the bible says to pray for the husband and pray for the wife let me explain from bible especially some verses from the holy scripture the first thing i will read that is ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 12 i repeat ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 12 though one may be overpowered two can defend themselves and a cord of three stands is not quickly broken but it says when one person lives all alone people can defeat him very easily if you are single there is a chance for the evil to attack you and destroy you to defeat you but if you are two that is not easy to defeat you how it is true once if you are married you are not single you are not one anymore you have your better half you have your spouse when two are there it is not easy for the enemy to destroy you and the third bible says but if there is a three definitely nobody can destroy you and who are these three you know it is very clear bible says husband wife and almighty god so i must say like this almighty god husband and wife when all these three to come together nobody can defeat the strong ropes of this tree you know why bible says like this your first prayer for your family should be for the unity of this trinity i mean this trinity god husband wife and your first priority should be the unity of all three there should not be separation i or you we we are three that god me my spouse and pray for this unity so that you will be strong and nobody can defeat you also with the same i want to read one more word from bible that is ephesians chapter 6 verses 12 let me repeat the same ephesians chapter 6 verses 12 we read like this for our struggle is not against the flesh and blood but against the rulers against the authorities against the powers of the dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm what it says my brothers and sisters many times you think that your husband is your enemy or his family is your enemy and you think your wife is your enemy and her family is your enemy but actually there is no human enemy for you all please understand there is no enemy for you your spouse is not at all your enemy bible says your enemy is a third party that is called the devil because we read in gospel of john chapter 10 verses 10 says that satan comes to destroy to kill and to steal you know mainly he destroy the peace of your family you know how the satan enters in your wife she comes and tells you something and immediately you misinterpret that and you get angry to her saying that she is my enemy she is disturbing my peace her family is disturbing my peace so always we think that she or her family or he or his family is destroying my peace they are my enemy in fact the bible says you don't have human enemy here here it says for our struggle is not against flesh and blood which means your struggle is not to the spouse and his or her family but against the rulers against the authorities against the powers of the dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realm maybe your family is very peaceful and a small heaven on earth but the satan dwells there satan enters into your spouse and come and speak to you something bad which triggers your anger and all the peace is destroyed in the family so what the husband and wife must pray you must pray god give us the grace to understand our common enemy i repeat god give us the grace to understand our common enemy who works against our family so suppose if the wife triggers the anger of the husband husband should think that she is not it is that spiritual forces which is working in her to trigger my anger you know to put fire on my anger and to destroy the peace so i must sit with her and i must hug her i must kiss her i must give some lullaby and i i must talk to her and find out what's happening in her and i must tell her that see you are not my enemy i am not your enemy and my family is not your enemy your family is not my enemy we are one team and the common enemy is the satan so this is what happens in your life he hurt you because of my words
or the satan hated your family or hated my family or even to me he gave some hurt because he wants to destroy the entire family so this is what happened in my life few months before i spoke something against you and you keep that anger in you and you are working on it and your face is too dark you are not smiling you are not peaceful you are not giving concern to me because you are hurt i know that hurt is caused by the devil definitely it is through me because he used me unknowingly sorry husband must say sorry to wife wife must say sorry to the husband and they must understand the common enemy is something else in short what i want to say my brothers and sisters always when there is an argument in the family your spouse is not against you but the problem is your enemy so both of you must stand against the problem whatever it may be if you if you are not understanding i will give you an example my brother for example your wife this evening you came home and she is not very happy her face looks very dark next day morning as usual she is not saying good morning she got up and walk out and she is doing her own duty you call her she is not hearing she is not minding and you went to office she did not give you a hug and kiss and bye and nothing evening you came back again she is very you know very dull and you asked something suddenly she shouted so you think that she is your enemy instead if you think that the enemy is a third party who is using her to provoke me you can go and ask her hello baby what happened to you you were very kind and you were very soft and you were very smiling and i was very healthy in this family last two days you are very dull what happened then she comes and say last week when you went to your house i also came with you you know what happened your dad has said that word and it provoked me now i am meditating on that and that hurts me a lot and lot of unwanted thoughts coming so i am unable to smile i am unable to hug you you don't know what is the problem then you will realize okay this is a problem so why can't we fight the enemy together you will tell her okay my what my dad said is not against you he is very elderly man come we will go and ask and clarify the things you take your wife you carry, you, you ask her to join with you both of you go to your house and speak lovingly kindly and if there is a problem just reconcile it and then be happy that's all so always when there is a third enemy in the family you must come together you should not fight always if any fighting in between you that is actually due to the third party the third party is the devil it is not flesh and blood